In the National Hockey League, one of the most well-liked guys is this man, Bruce Boudreaux. You never know if it's the end. So when you've been in it for almost 50 years, I mean, the majority of your life, and if it's the end, it's, you know, just I had to stay out there and just look at the crowd and just try to say, okay, remember this moment type thing. Yet he was left out to dry as head man of the Vancouver Canucks. What made this extra crummy was the way this organization handled this entire thing. Insiders practically knew of Boudreaux's replacement. The team practically leaked the incoming coach's starting date before Boudreaux had even been relieved of his duties. Canucks team president Jim Rutherford, seen here, bungled this completely. In turn, he hired Rick Tockett as the new head coach, sending Boudreaux off into retirement. Tockett, seen on the left, has quite a history. Here he is pictured working as a studio analyst for TNT, though. Now here's the thing. Awful announcing linked to one Twitter user that uncovered some of the coach's Twitter likes. He liked a tweet that references Miley Cyrus in porn. <laughs> they get less hilarious, but that one's just... <laughs> <It's> so stupid. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The second was a <laughs> the second was a Kirstie Alley tweet on why Donald Trump is the oh that'll sober you up <laughs> is the perfect candidate to not stage an interact an insurrect oh that would have been bad an insurrection but uh you know lead the states Here, here's what troubles me he liked. Grifting plagiarizer Benny Johnson of Turning Point USA, of Toilet Paper USA, where they would go after the boogeyman of wokeness and CRT, which is a complete dog whistle to right-wing politics these days. He liked Jillian Barberi's tweet, which read, Our president raw dogged a porn star while his wife was nursing. Stormy Daniels, whom is hilarious, by the way, don't you ever give it second thought. Imagine a married woman effing a male porn star, then becoming president. Republican heads would explode. Wait, is he? Cr There's no way he, he had to have misread that. He interacted with a TMZ tweet about Jimmy G dating a porn star. Then he left. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you see it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have to read it. What's the point in reading it? <laughs> in turn, he would, of course, he would nuke his Twitter. Of course. Well, one user, however, uh, would have a lot of fun with it, as, of course, everyone else should. Oof. Andrew Buckholtz would add, there's also been some criticism for his past. That includes the 2006 Operation Slapshot uncovering of his involvement in an illegal gambling ring in New Jersey. Wow. That led to him eventually taking a plea deal, pleading guilty to promoting gambling and conspiracy to promote gambling and getting sentenced to two years probation. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So you're telling me these leagues are going after anybody and their mamas that are in the sport. Calvin Ridley, he says it was a small bet. Suspended for a year for gambling on sports. And yet this guy is welcome back? This reeks of hypocrisy. If some coach, no matter how, a former NHL guy, let's say, no matter how likable they are, were to have this on their rap sheet, there is no way in hell that person should get a head coaching role, let alone be the equipment manager, because then it goes into a conflict of interest. I understand he took a plea deal. I understand... 
you know, the two years probation is up, what have you. I'm very conflicted. Deadspin Sam Fells would not hold back. He's coached for six years, two in Tampa, four in AZ. While neither roster was all that close to good, it's not like he got any of them to play over their heads. He's never come close to sniffing a playoff spot. The bubble doesn't count, according to Fells. It's hard not to notice his immediate replacement in Tampa. I mean, yeah, these are all fair points. There isn't even a raft of young players you could argue he helped develop into real stars. One gets the impression of Steven Stamkos. Probably finds his way to 500 goals if he hadn't spent two seasons under... Oh, that... See, now we're talking. Now we're talking. TSN's Dustin Nelson wrote, Rick Tockett has been a head coach for six seasons in the NHL, missed the playoffs five times, eliminated in the first round once, has coached 438 games and won 178 of them. He's supposed to fix the Canucks. What am I missing? Pierre Lebrun also had a great note. They're currently paying three head coaches. And although he has gone over the masses to show <laughs> to show his coaching strategy, let's be very clear about this. Bad hire. Bad hire and the way they handled this was god awful. And this sets the precedent for other potential coaches knowing how guys that are well-respected were treated on the way out. 